Does the sight of blood make you feel faint, or anxious? What is hemophobia? What are the symptoms? Let's learn more about it. Subscribe for more informative videos. Click like button if you like the video. And don't forget to comment your suggestions. Maybe, the very thought of undergoing certain medical procedures, involving blood makes you feel sick to your stomach. The term for the irrational fear of blood is, hemophobia. While some people may feel uneasy about blood from time to time, hemophobia is an extreme fear of seeing blood, or getting tests or shots where blood may be involved. This phobia can have a serious impact on your life. Phobias of all types share similar physical and emotional symptoms. With hemophobia, symptoms may be triggered by seeing blood in real life, or on television. Some people may feel symptoms after thinking about blood, or certain medical procedures, like a blood test. Physical symptoms triggered by this phobia may include Trouble breathing Rapid heart rate Tightness or pain in chest Shaking or trembling Lightheadedness Feeling nauseated around blood or injury Hot or cold flashes Sweating Emotional symptoms may include Extreme feelings of anxiety or panic Overwhelming need to escape situations where blood is involved. Detachment from self or feeling unreal. Feeling like you've lost control. Feeling like you may die or pass out. Feeling powerless over your fear. Hemophobia is unique, because it also produces what's called a vasovagal response. A vasovagal response means, you have a drop in your heart rate, and blood pressure in response to a trigger. Children experience phobia symptoms in different ways. Children with hemophobia may have tantrums, become clingy, cry, hide, refuse to leave their caregiver's side around blood or situations where blood could be present. Researchers estimate that between 3 and 4 percent of the population experiences hemophobia. Specific phobias often first arise in childhood, between the ages of 10 and 13. Hemophobia may also occur in combination with other psychoneurotic disorders, such as agoraphobia animal phobias, and panic disorder. Additional risk factors include Genetics. Some people are more likely to develop phobias than others. There may be a genetic link, or you may be particularly sensitive or emotional by nature. Anxious parent or caregiver. You may learn to fear something after seeing fear patterned. For example, if a child sees their mother is fearful of blood, they may develop a phobia around blood. Overprotective parent or caregiver. Some people may develop a more generalized anxiety. This may result from being in an environment where you were overly dependent on an overprotective parent. Trauma. Stressful or traumatic events may lead to a phobia. With blood, this may be related to hospital stays or serious injuries involving blood. While phobias often start in childhood, phobias in young kids generally revolve around things like fear of the dark strangers, loud noises, or monsters. As children get older, between the ages of 7 and 16, fears are more likely to be focused around physical injury or health. This could include hemophobia. You need to seek treatment if your fear of blood brings about panic attacks, or severe or debilitating anxiety. Your fear is something you recognize as irrational. You've experienced these feelings for 6 months or longer. Treatment options may include Exposure therapy Cognitive therapy Relaxation Applied tension Medication Next, astrophobia Thank you for watching. I hope it was useful for you. Please subscribe my channel for more informative video.